Just recently, Musk made an unimaginable statement while responding to a parody account on X. An account shared an image of Musk holding a phone with a neural network-like design on his forehead, asking if people would install a Neuralink interface to control their new X phone just by thinking. And guess what? Musk replied, in the future, there will be no phones, just Neuralinks. A few days ago, when someone asked Elon about the importance of mobile, he said, True. A smartphone is almost essential in a modern society to, to do things. Yeah. Um, so could a Neuralink end up in that same sort of place? It's possible, but I'm just saying, if it does, it's, a, it's, it's many decades from now. So it's not like, you know, it's not today's problem. Yeah. I'd worry a bit more about digital superintelligence. I'd worry about, let's try to avoid World War III. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's make sure we're at least having enough kids to sustain our population. You know, basic stuff like that. Yeah. But why did he reply this in the tweet? Is he just saying it randomly or does he really mean it? Now, I don't know about you, but this statement really scares me. Well, let me tell you why. In January this year, Elon Musk's company Neuralink made headlines by successfully implanting its brain chip in a human for the first time. As always, Elon managed to surprise everyone. Well, before we dive deeper, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're on a mission to hit our first 1K subscribers, and your support means the world to us. Now back to the topic. As the surgery hit its 100-day milestone, Neuralink live-streamed a captivating video showcasing Arbaugh's incredible progress. In the video, a Neuralink engineer introduced Arbaugh, who shared his story. He had been paralyzed from the shoulders down after an accident eight years ago. 29 years old. Um, about eight years ago, I was in kind of a freak diving accident and uh, dislocated my C4, C5. So I'm a complete um, quadriplegic. Uh, so I'm paralyzed from below the shoulders. I love playing chess, and so this is one of the things that y'all have enabled me to do, something that I wasn't able to really do much the last few years, especially not like this. Um, I had to use like a mouse stick and stuff, but now it's all, uh, it's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's, that's all me, y'all. Um, Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Actually, can you pause the song just for the yeah, audio absolutely. coming through? And that was also done with your brain? Yep. It's, <laughs> it's all brain power up there. Talking about how he felt after receiving the Neuralink chip and being able to play chess just by thinking, Arbaugh said, It's crazy, so cool. I am lucky to be a part of this. It seems every day I am learning something new. I can't describe how cool it is to be able to do this. He added that Neuralink allowed him to play to his heart's content without relying on anyone. The only way I could play was through an iPad and I couldn't play without the help of my parents. I couldn't keep them up all night to help me play the game. I could only play for a few hours. It wasn't feasible to play a full game. And now I can just lie in bed and play to my heart's content. The biggest restriction was having to wait for the implant to charge, but it has been awesome, he said. Watch the video on your I button to understand how Neuralink actually works. Now we know Neuralink is all good, but why does Musk believe phones will become obsolete and that his Neuralink device will take their place? Well, the answer lies in the capabilities Neuralink aims to achieve. With a direct brain-to-computer interface, the need for physical devices like phones could diminish. Neuralink aims to bridge the gap between humans and machines by establishing a direct link between the brain and computers. This involves accessing the brain by creating a small hole in the skull, targeting the motor cortex. Now, imagine you're sitting in a meeting and need to look up some critical data. Instead of fumbling with your phone or laptop, you simply think about the query, and the information appears in your mind. Or consider communicating with someone halfway across the world without uttering a single word. Your thoughts transmit directly to theirs. Why would you use phones and strain your hands? Neuralink's potential goes far beyond what phones can offer. It might sound impossible right now, but it's not. Right now, for example, Neuralink doesn't go very deep into the brain, says Chen. But imagine the possibilities in a few years. Neuralink could enable communication through thought, eliminating the need for typing or speaking into a phone, messages, calls, 
and even social media interactions could happen with mere thoughts. Here is what Neil deGrasse Tyson, a famous astrophysicist, says about Elon Musk's Neuralink project. So I suspect that this neural link where you're saying, let me connect my brain neurologically to the internet. Really, is that really much better than me pulling out my smartphone and typing? I guess it's faster. Okay, so you'll do it in a matter of seconds and I'll take me 20 seconds. You'll do it in three seconds. You know, I have the 17 seconds. I, I could do that without USB plugging this into the base of my neck. Well, do you agree with him? Would you agree to have this chip implanted in your brain? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, check out the videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.